three at the moment, two points in the crush. And we'll see if that's going to be the case. He's just going to make his way back up top, maybe give it a bit of an action towards the Prophet. Just training hits here with Jesse, and uh, they'll throw the car scout as well, trying to force him back, but the heels there, Cuckoo as well, moving forward with the Burning Spears and stacking up onto Ake with that decay. We are seeing that Alliance are having to play very, very careful down here. Nuts, he's trying to go in, and another snowball onto Kuku. Maybe they could get this one. The heel's going to be there, the grave as well. So Kuku will be able to walk off, and now the tombstone dropped in Alliance. They're losing life incredibly fast. Loader at the moment. He should go down as well. It's going to be two kills for the side of Maneski. And some really nice play. As you said, Will, this tri lane from Maneski just seems to be hanging around the corner. And yeah, I want to say on the top lane, I mean, hats off to Slada, because we saw earlier Bulldog with the edge, but Slada is totally caught up in terms of and he's now equal in terms of CS to the Nature's Prophet. And you gotta think about how scary this is for Alliance right now because... Okay, he did get the car scout and he's trying to turn onto Cuckoo but Cuckoo just turns onto him with the grave as well. Cuckoo showing no fear. And that's a third kill here for this safe lane tri lane of Manette. In the early game, the starter is 20 times more effective, right? Okay. He's gonna throw out the cast. He does have S4 there with him as well, but the quad will blink away. They get the crush onto AK, and AK's in a lot of trouble. They've got level 6, they have the amplify, and he just melts there to the physical damage of them both. Fourth pick off there for the side of Maneski. He's no, trying to walk in, he's not gonna throw the stun straight up. Potato will now blink away. Just the level 1 snowball, so realizing it wouldn't be enough damage to do A little bit more gold if he gets the last hit. So don't even bother. But you have to swap lanes like this because, as is, you're not doing enough to slow down the husk, uh, the husk car. It's a nice shackle onto Jules. They'll try and go for it again. He gets the shallow grave up, and Cuckoo just turns. They will kill the husk car, and that is a big kill. It goes to S4, and S4, in fact, gets the double kill. And you talk about like, doing something to get themselves back in. That's going to be it. Rotating. Is that the husk car doesn't need to have an amazing start. It's just that the getting to the mid game in an okay position. And look at this gank at half. Oh, they yeah, set this up so well. Help. Someone's going to come up for an alpha, but it's not going to be there in time. Too much damage there from the Slada and the Undying combination. It's the same thing. As soon as this creep wave dies at bottom, then oh, Bulldog. that's will do the same. Nice. Yeah, it's just teasing there with the TP. Oh, so he's going to follow through and now. In fact, Cuckoo just jumps straight forward onto Nuts. They'll be the Snowball to buy some time to try and turn. Dazzle is going to be there with a Grave if needed and it will come out. They'll look to turn onto Nuts and they'll oh. take him down. That's the Tusk on. Jesse Bash is there as well. S4 with the Focus Fire trying to bring down Cuckoo, but he's got the Radiant's arm in toggling. Meanwhile, Loader goes down on the top lane to the aggression of Raging Potato and Rayar, and they're going to maybe look for more. They're moving in. Ake's on his own. They've got the Amplify out. Bulldog's going to turn up, but no, again, it's just teasing the TPs. He's looking for the right opening, trying to get in to help his teammate, and he'll get out the Sprout. But the Blink out's there. They take down Ake. It's a double kill for Raging Potato on the co and he may even look for Bulldog. They've got the Amplify down. Rios thinking about coming back in, but the TP is going to be inbound from that's on the Tusk, and that will slow down attack. the aggression from Maneski. Low. But I, I don't think it's low enough for Alliance to do anything. No, you can't fight into this. Not with the, the Tombstone down and up like that. Oh, Bulldog. He's in a lot of trouble here, potentially. He tries to turn. Rios fairly low. And he's going to get the crush off. They'll get themselves over the tree line there with the screen. And a dominating streak now for Raging Potato on this Queen of Pain. The same level as Maneski in terms of the map control. They're putting a little bit of a pressure on to this bottom lane, but Maneski are going to come in with a reaction. S4 is in the sidelines, and oh, he's got a TP. He's been silenced up, though. There's no chance of escape for this man. They'll use the Sonic Wave to make sure that the Wind Ranger goes down. A latch here from S4. And he's ready to go back in. Potentially, Bulldog is looking for that Bulldog play, though. He's on the bottom lane, trying to put pressure onto the tier two. That's all moving in, trying to get the clicks in. There's now a mech on the Undying as well here. If Manessi want to try and really force the issue, they do look at this. Jumping straight in with the crush onto two there. The Slada gets himself back out of the base. Now Kuku moving forward. Meanwhile, Raging Potato, he's dealt with the rap. Bulldog's down on the bottom lane, and he's dead for 40 seconds. Maneski just sticking as a four man here. They're going to be shortly joined by the Quap. He's going to make her way back up, and they're jumping forward. Kuku forcing S4 back, the Wimrun comes out, he's got to create this distance between himself, and look how low he's there, he's fine, he's okay, the Shackle's there, the Shallow Grave comes out, Cuckoo's still going to be fine, he's going to try and fight, and he will look oh, at Loda, he's just melting, Cuckoo goes forward, and this man, look at his arm, he's looking for more, trying to get out, and then we implode, but Cuckoo's still alive, right, now he goes down, he's got the Aegis, he got the double kills, the Burning Spears did bring down Ake, and he's ready for round two, S4 tries to get the Shackle out, it's not going to last, he does get the silence out from them, but now the crush from Riyadh to two, they're looking for more, 
Yes, Force going to go down. Raging Potatoes jump forwards. There's three on the deck at the moment for the side of Alliance. Bulldog will finally be back up. This is a lot of aggression from the side of Mineski. They're not finding the mid uh, mid racks at the moment, though. Snowball comes out for Nurses. We're nice. Can if they can find it? They get the punch out the silence as well. Raging Potato for the Sora. The Shallow Crash. There, Rhea with the two man crush. The fight's going to continue. It's going to go the way of Mineski. That's going to be nuts down. They'll look for Lodo as well. And he almost certainly will fall. And he does indeed the Soul Burn damage the Orchid. Raging Potato now to Wicked Six Streak. And now Mineski. They turn back towards the objectives. They'll take the mid racks here. 20 minutes in. And Alliance still with three heroes. No risk fight. So, okay, you've got to be careful because Slada, he can smell you and he wants you. He'll jump straight in if Ake comes any closer. Bulldog is there as well, just sending out the treants. But Mineski, they've turned the heat up. And Alliance, they're not used to it. No. Let's see what the game plan is. Alliance, going for a bit of a YOLO smoke here. They know they need to find something. I mean, any pick off they can get, Dyer's Jesse, but he is going to have that. Grease to remove the silence, and oh, here we go. Shackle comes out first, though. You can't remove that, buddy, Jim, and the, the Death Force is going to make work at that. There'll be a crush onto S4, so they did find a kill here, Alliance, bringing it to 317. So it's Dyer's something, it's something, tower. but Maneski, they're not happy. They're Jim is a brief Russell. They want to fight. S4 throws out the Shackle, gets it onto Raya. Lotus there as well. Can they kill the Slider? That's a big kill if they can, and they can. Slider's going to go down. This might be it for Alliance, but Cuckoo, he's finally turned up. He takes down the Nature's Profit. Quartz Incredible has to get a self out, but this maybe is the thing. The cast from a uh, biotic from Ake. Cougar's gonna get held in place here. The Sonic Wave comes through. It's gonna be a whip raging potato. Sonic Wave is own team. It's not a heal, it's a damaging spell. You fall. And now Huskar, he's still gonna be there. Doesn't matter though, they missed the Sonic Wave. It's still a clean up for Cuckoo. He's found himself a triple kill. Nuts should go down as well here in the pit. Jules will finish that one off. So Alliance, even though they find some kills, it's still not great. S4 is still alive with the focus fire onto Cuckoo. Bulldog coming back in with the Sprout. There's your Orchid. Can they kill him? The toggle's there. Jules throws down the shallow grave. Now they'll turn. They'll look for Bulldog here in the pit. He's trying to turn and fight Cuckoo. S4, can he do it? Can he do it? I don't know if he can. He's trying his best here. Bless him, but the heels are there. Cuckoo with the arm link toggling. S4 goes down. It's a double kill for Cuckoo. This man's a monster. That was the best possible fight that you could have had as a lion. And probably most importantly, Loda. Loda's net worth is nearly extinct at this point. Oh, and S4, I think, no, the mech's gonna save him. Okay, can they turn? They get the silence out, but there's the crush for Rhea. He looks to charge on S4, but S4 gets the win, no, 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 he might be able to survive with this, and Death Force as well. The focus fire, they'll take down Slaughter. S4's gonna be able to live through that one. And Alliance somehow working as a team to keep S4 alive, they get the kill on Slaughter. And it is little picks like this that keep Alliance in the game, Will. Nearly, he's closing in on the Axe card yeah. as well, okay. And you have to shackle the it doesn't matter what hero it is you have to shackle a hero to the death all right now how do you th how do they kill the husk guy in the midst of all of this you <laughs> okay crush onto two jump straight forward from cuckoo's looking for the easy kill trying to go for arcade the cask is there holding him back bouncing between them all the shackle did latch onto it but it does force alliance right back loaded now gets the silence out but the blink is there already for slot i can't quite get that touch in to cancel it and now mineski they're looking for the second set of racks the shackle is going to latch again but look at this potato straight in with the sonic wave on to s4 s is going to go down he'll fly back straight away cuckoo jumps across the bulldog takes down the nature's profit now looks for arcade arcade's going to fall as well he's down and now they're trying and turn towards nuts. The damage is too much from Maneski. Double kill for Jesse Bash. S4 unloaded. The only ones left alive on the side of Alliance. The rest of the team do not have buybacks. And with three heroes dead, Maneski will now look to take the second set of racks. And Alliance, they're not going to be able to stop this one. This is going to be a second set of stronger creeps for Maneski. They will have their team back up in about 30 seconds. So maybe they'll have one more fight in them. But it's going to have to be the best bloody fight of their life. At this point, the draw just doesn't add anything to the lineup. Her damage is completely inconsequential. But look how little she does when she hits Cuckoo once. At one point, he had 60 armor. This is going to be Mega Creeps. They're trying their best, but they have to know at this point. 28 me minute Mega Creeps. They've just got to switch it up in game two. They brought to game one was not not the right thing to do against Maneski. And Maneski fully punished that. It was just way too greedy. He's going to jump in. This is the final, final stance here for Alliance. Can they do it? The cast will come out, but the crush is out. It gets onto Ake, forcing the side of Alliance right back to their fountain. S4, he's going to get taken Sonic Waste to the face, and GG's called. It's all too much for the Swedes, and Maneski take game one, 31 to 6. Quite a performance there from the Filipinos. And as we keep saying, well, Alliance... They can't do that again if they want to try and take a game against these boys. You can't pick that greedy. You had no heroes that could frontline for you. And the problem is that nobody could survive the Queen of Pain Slaughter, much less the Huskar. Yeah, the